This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Despite all your careful planning, there will be times when you need to make changes to the design that you are working on. Often this will include editing your sketches to update the value of a dimension or add and remove sketch entities. As you will see, there is more than one way to edit a sketch, and there is not one correct way. However, as you become more comfortable with each one of the methods that I will show you, you will instinctively know which one will work best for the changes that you need to make. Now we're going to take a look at two different ways of editing sketches. One with Instant 3D turned on and Instant 3D turned off. Later we'll take a closer look at Instant 3D and how to use it for modeling. But Instant 3D does come in handy for editing sketches. If you look in the Command Manager in the Features tab, and the Instant 3D button is disabled, at this time enable it so that we can use Instant 3D for editing sketches on this guide base. The great thing about Instant 3D is that it lets you create and modify geometry by using drag handles and rulers. It is used for editing or creating geometry or features, but it's also used to edit the sketches that drive the features in your model. For instance, in this model, we have a hole down the middle here. With Instant 3D turned on, when we select on the hole, we can see the dimensions that make up the sketch. However, if we turn off Instant 3D, we do not see those dimensions. So we'll turn it back on. Now, if we need to change, for instance, the diameter of this hole, we could edit the dimension. But with Instant 3D, all we do is grab the little blue ball here for the drag handle, and we could drag out the diameter or make it smaller using an on screen ruler. If you move your mouse away from the ruler, you can move it freely. But if you move it on top of the ruler, it will snap to the increments shown on the ruler. The increments will be finer as you zoom in and out. So this hole was originally 0.625 and we're going to change it to a one inch diameter. Once we have that one inch displayed on the ruler, release the left mouse button and the dimension has been changed. We can also change the location of that hole by selecting the handle on that dimension, once again, dragging it into place. This works for all of the sketches within the model. If you select on any feature, sketch dimensions will be shown in black and feature dimensions will be shown in blue. To change them, click and hold the left mouse button on the drag handle and move to resize. Now that is the quickest and easiest way to edit a sketch within SOLIDWORKS. But if for some reason you choose not to use Instant 3D and you have it turned off, there's a couple different ways you can do this. In the features in the feature manager, there's a little plus shown next to each feature name. Clicking the plus will show the sketch that makes up that feature. You can select the sketch to get a highlight of the sketch boundaries. Double click on the sketch and you'll see the dimensions that make up. You're still not editing the sketch, you're still not in the sketch mode, but you can make changes at this point. If you double click a dimension in the graphics area, you'll get the modify window where you can update the dimension. Now you see that the model has not been updated. In the feature manager design tree, you'll see a little stoplight here. This says that the model needs to be rebuilt in order for the changes to be made. In the standard toolbar, you'll find a rebuild button. Click on it and a model will rebuild. Now if Instant 3D was turned on when you did this, you would still need to do that. However, if you had Instant 3D turned on and you didn't double click the dimension, you just selected it once, you'll get a little window here. It's not a pop-up window like the modify window, but you could still edit your dimension. And as soon as you hit enter, the model will update automatically. So that's another advantage of having Instant 3D turned on. Now, if you need to actually make changes to the sketch by adding sketch entities or removing sketch entities, just select on the sketch with the left mouse button and select Edit Sketch in the Context menu. You can also get to this by right-clicking and say Edit Sketch.
The rest of the features will be grayed out, and the sketch will be the active one. So in this sketch, we want to add a second hole. Make them equal and set a new spacing, just like regular sketching. To exit the sketch and save your changes, click on Exit Sketch here in the confirmation corner and the changes will be applied. Now you can also get to the sketches by selecting on the feature and in the context menu, you'll be able to edit sketch from here. So you don't have to go finding the sketch in the feature manager. This comes in handy when you got a lot of features and you got to dig through it. Double click on the dimension, edit the value. So once you make your changes, exit the sketch and you're done. Now, one last thing you can do with the sketches is actually edit or change the sketch plane in which the sketch was created on. To do this, once again, select the sketch in the feature manager. And instead of saying edit sketch, select edit sketch plane. The property manager will show you the face or sketch plane which was used. To select a new one, just click and the highlight will change from the other plane to the new plane. Once you click OK, the sketch has been moved. Oftentimes this will result in disjointed bodies. You just go in and change the direction and we're done. So that about covers the basics for editing a sketch. Like I said, there's a few different ways. I definitely recommend using Instant 3D. It makes things a lot easier and quicker. However, there will be times that you do need to go in and actually add features into the sketches. So being familiar with each one of the techniques will come in handy definitely later.